planning to retire overseas? Is a mail forwarding service something you should be considering? That's what we're going to talk about today, so stick around. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, two favors. One, that you'll give the video a like, and two, that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. We're so grateful for all the support we've gotten up to now, and we're grateful for any support we'll pick up along the way. So we'll hope you consider doing those two small things that will help this channel more than you could ever know. And without further delay, let's get into today's important message. Hey, you two friends, welcome back to another episode of USA to Philippines Life channel with me, Mike, your host. Today, we're going to take a look at something I think is uh, very important for future expats and I'm sure we'll hear from the guys over there that are already there hopefully using these the mail forwarding services now I got the idea for this video watching another fine vlogger uh, earlier today I played hooky from work today uh, still wasn't feeling well uh, so I took the day off and relaxed a little bit. And I was watching uh, one of the uh, expats who's already over there. And he was talking about the need for credit cards when you retire in the Philippines. And I agree. I use credit cards. Uh, I don't carry a balance on my credit cards. I use them very strategically uh, here in the States. And I would like to continue using them overseas. However, the question comes up is this, what to do in the Philippines when your credit card is going to expire and you need to have a replacement card mailed to you. Now this is going to happen to all of us sooner or later if we're in the Philippines uh, the way around this seems to be a mail forwarding service or a trusted friend or relative back in the States. Um, if you don't have a, I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do. I do have a couple of uh, relatives here in the States. I might be able to trust for uh, the first leg of my retirement, let's say. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's a prolonged solution. I'm thinking that the, um, uh, I apologize for the airplane noise. I don't know if you can hear that. We live in the flight path of Newark Liberty, JFK, LaGuardia, and a small corporate airport uh, near here. There's never a moment without a plane in the sky some days, and today's one of those days, so I apologize in advance if you hear the uh, rumbling of jets flying. I actually enjoy jet noise, but uh, it's a little, uh, before I was waiting for uh, doing the intro, and I was waiting for a moment where there was no jet noise, and uh, it wasn't happening, so you're going to hear, the, you're probably going to hear the jets in the background. But anyway, back to what we were talking about, uh, mail forwarding services. So if you don't know what a mail forwarding service is, it is a service that you pay for. The service provides you with a U.S., not a post office box, it's a physical address you will give to your banks and, you know, other important uh, business entities that... Uh, you need to stay in contact with that you might not want to say hey I'm gonna be moving to the Philippines in fact it's suggested don't tell your bank that you're moving to the Philippines you can tell them that you're traveling but don't ever tell them that you're moving permanently because I understand there's a chance they will close your account uh, so with that being said back to the idea of a mail forwarding service what a mail forwarding service will do for you uh, they have several options, but generally, um, they you will they will you know you'll have an account to sign into that you can monitor your mail. I believe you can earmark some for them to open and scan so that you can read it online, and then you have an option to have uh, some items that you don't want opened, but instead want it forwarded to you to put into another pile. 
and I believe um, you know the plans are all different some of them give you uh, X amount of um, you know included in the price X amount of um, uh, times where they'll ship your your items to you uh, overseas they're all different I'm going to I came across a couple of good articles Reviano.com I will post a link to that I'm not going to go through each one but they list they have a pretty good list seven best mail forwarding services for 2021 it was just updated um, December 8th so this is brand spanking new so you can check it out it's got um, it's uh, read them off but uh, I'm gonna leave the link and you can go and check them and read up about each one they have the best forwarding best mail forwarding services are post scan mail anytime mailbox traveling mailbox I postal one earth class mail virtual post mail and US global mail uh, so they go in and break down each site they give you the uh, the numbers to join you know different membership level packages how much it costs what that includes and all of that uh, it's definitely a good idea to think about something like this I'm also going to include from the points uh, moving abroad here's what to here's what to do with your credit cards uh, because I think, uh, as I said, this is what prompted me to discuss the mail forwarding services, uh, as I think that this is a good workaround uh, for actually keeping your credit cards active while you're in the Philippines. With that, that's going to wrap this uh video up I thought it was an important topic uh, mail forwarding services something that we should consider uh, before we uh, move abroad how are we going to keep uh, important mail the IRS the IRS is another thing <laughs> probably you're going to need to keep up with the IRS um, social security and on and on and on and on so this is a very important subject. The mail forwarding service is something to consider. I hear from you guys. Uh, guys over there are you using mail forwarding services. Uh, guys planning to go. Have you looked into mail forwarding services? Have you thought about how you're going to deal with uh, expiring credit cards and how you're going to get your new credit cards? Uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of um, answers uh, at my kids my sister my brother and that's if you got if you got trusted relatives stateside that'll do that for you that's above that's the the best way to go but if you're like me and once you go abroad you're probably not i'm probably not going to have too many people here that i'm going to trust and uh i don't think that's a long-term solution for me uh, when I'm overseas and I'm getting old uh, so I'm thinking mail forwarding service for me so with that we're gonna wrap this video up I hope you like it if you did please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already if you have subscribed we thank you and as we always like to say wherever you are in the world stay well stay safe stay blessed and we're gonna see you real soon with another video take care and thanks a lot for watching